We now come to the award for interior design, given for exceptional and exemplary work in domestic, corporate, or cultural interior design. This year's finalists are Aidlin Darling Design and Clive Wilkinson Architectures. <laughs> William Sofield is this year's recipient of the Interior Design Award. Is known for his unique take on modernism. His holistic approach is grounded on craft and materials, creating highly original and welcoming spaces. Oops, I should have known better. Uh, I have been around one of these for many, many years. I guess a broadcaster should know how to use a microphone. Some of his projects are retail boutiques from Tom Ford, uh, Bottega Benetta, Yves Saint Laurent, and Gucci as well as the Soho Grand Hotel right here in New York. Here to present the Interior Design Award is design editor of New York Magazine, Wendy Goodman. Thank you, Paula. It is really the highest honor for me to present this award to Bill, who so deserves it. I think Bill should get an award every single day because there isn't anything he can't do. As a young design editor, I was so in awe of Bill and of his work, he inspired me to learn more about design and to be better at my job so I could earn the right to tell his stories. And now, as a more seasoned editor, I still feel the same way. Yes, he has changed the retail landscape, designing the most beautiful stores in the world. And yes, Bill is a committed modernist, but the foundation of his work is grounded in his respect for, and sensitivity to history and to the past. This elevates each and every project to a work of fine art with qualities as wondrous and as intangible as poetry. Going through Bill's portfolio is to discover one treasure after another. His work is glamorous, it's sexy, it's bold, but it's also so elegant, and Bill is not afraid of the quiet. He is not afraid to leave things alone. There is always a place to stretch out and reflect. It is no surprise, really, that the place Bill and Dennis go to get away from it all is a lighthouse in Maine. No running water to speak of, except they collect rainwater in a cistern on the roof. And now that they have one solar panel, there is a little electricity to add to the evening's candlelight. Bill, you are such a star. Congratulations. Design, for me, at its best, is effortless. The product of nature, necessity, or circumstance. It is egoless. I often quip that if I'm successful, nobody will ever know that I existed. At my best, I try to conjole those around me to embrace and foster great design, urge builders to do slightly more than the task at hand, and leave a clear trail of evidence in my work to pay tribute to those architects and artists that have preceded and inspired me so as to keep their voices alive. I first founded the studio in the late 80s in the meatpacking district, when the meatpacking district used to pack meat, with the purpose of uh, supporting the work of, of artisans and craftspeople hit hard by the recession and whose work was in danger of extinction. The studio was and is today an interdisciplinary collective of architects, communicators, interior designers, landscape architects, artists, graphic designers, potters, weavers, fashion designers, interpretive dancers, herbalists, and anyone else we like. <laughs> Above all, there is Emma, who has, for the past 23 years, been my co-conspirator. I love materiality, and I'm thrilled that I've had the opportunity of collaborating with really visionary clients that have supported my love of craft, art, and the industrial. Together, we've shown that combining the ordinary and the extraordinary does make a good economic sense. The gyms don't have to be chrome, ranches might be modern, 
retail and office environments can be residential. Dilapidated structures should be preserved and reinvented. Boats may be made of resin and that modern furniture can be fine. This recent recession has taken its toll on our community. I see this award as a signifier. Good design is not a luxury, but is essential to the quality of our lives, influencing our thoughts and enhancing our experiences. The environments and artifacts we create will be our legacy, windows into what we are capable of and what we can imagine. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Congratulations to Bill.